All right, what's up, gamers? And welcome back to another week of Drop Things Content, your favorite Carolina Podshire. And um, this is week seven. We were playing the Thrashing West Finizens right here. This team is actually, we got taken over by another player. So the player who uh, we're playing it currently, Rai Rai, um, uh, did not draft the team. Um, he had to take it over uh, part of the way through the season. Um, but he did he make some changes to it, to the team. So it's not, this team has changed one of the most probably out of any, any other team. Um, I think for the better. It's uh, like you look at the top three, very solid core right there now. Um, anyways, uh, this one's a little bit different this week. Uh, I am doing post commentary. The uh, match already happened, um, but we had planned a showdown. And at the time, I just wasn't didn't really feel like setting up the uh, like recording and everything um, just for a showdown. But after talking to some friends, I felt like it would probably be for the best. Um, just at least show like show off the match and show what um, So in the team building process. Uh, I see, you see those top three, and you think, okay, those three are going to come pretty much every time. Um, the team is relative, is not very fast. It's pretty slow, actually. So they really want the talent to set up Tailwind. Um, and the Meowth card is a really scary Pokemon to have in the back. Uh, you can do a lot of different things. It's very, you, it has very high utility, very strong Pokemon, um, as well as Rotom. They can both pretty uh, a variety of sets that they can run. But then you could come out and come down to like the bottom Pokemon, like the B, C, and D tiers, and they're definitely a lot more tech Pokemon. Um, like Glamora is solid, but I would not expect it to come into like say, King Gambit, Parasuta, Garchomp, Bar uh, Tinkadun. Like those all kind of destroy it. Uh, but it's not a bad Pokemon. It has good stats and like pretty decent coverage, even if not um, stab coverage against my team. A Morgrim, really scary for screens um, and see everything. <laughs> you can do so much. Um, then you get down to these lower ones, it's like, okay, I can see the oncoming, but eh, it's, it's all right. And it's like pretty much all of all of these, these the B, C, and D tiers. Like, I could see them coming, but they just kind of seem just okay. Um, and so because of that, it's hard to prep for. So it's not like there's six Pokemon that seem really good. It's just six Pokemon. It's, Pokemon that seem really good, and then seven Pokemon that could come. It makes it harder to prep for, honestly. Um, but so we got my team, stay the same, Tail and Cloud Sire, no differences. But um, yeah. Uh, so Rai Rai, pretty good. Um, uh, right now, he was invited by um, the, team, the player who says the uh, Raleigh Rotoms, or who. who um, who owns the Raleigh Rotoms, I guess. Uh, Magikarp Drowned, um, who is... Uh, so, NC State people, um, friend, friends of mine, for sure. I guess it's not... It's, if they go to NC State, they're friends of mine, is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so, yes, there's the team. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's a great match for me, except for Tingitan is pretty nice with uh, priority, which I think is going to be... Um, which we prepped pretty hard for me and Connix when we were building the team. But let's just get into it right now. I guess that's kind of a spoiler there. It's, it, is, it is a 2-0. Um, I will not say which way, though. But it's, it's a 2-0. Um, first up, we got Ferris Buda, just The MVP of the team since I added it. Uh, having like the second pass of Pokemon available in the draft is really nice. Um, and being able to, like, in the EV spreads are always so simple. Um, oh, wait, this, oops, this is from last week. Uh, this one. <laughs> Still the same thing, too. Um, this is still very simple EV spread. For this one, we hit uh, Cloak Combat and Liquidation. We decided those were the only two moves that I would need. Um, most of its other coverage is not very good in the team. Like, you don't really need ice coverage, you don't need poison or psychic. Um, so we were like, we figured, eh, let's just go uh, Terra Graph of Terra Burst. That's because right now Rotom uh, kind of walls it, and that's the only thing. Um, uh, yeah, pretty simple EV thread. It could, could even be just the uh, um, seven, uh, 76, 252, 180. Wouldn't, it would not matter. All right. Then we got Tinkaton. I had an AV version, um, like mostly for Wall and Rotom Wash, but also, like you see, Glamora, which I wasn't super scared of, but I just want to make sure I wouldn't like, lose to a crit Earth power. Um, and it lets me wall Frost Moth even harder. So um, this. Uh, this is enough speed to speed creep. Keep like um, I was trying to go faster than four speed at the time. Uh, it's 
and then the uh, of defense exists for a nice assault test number. Um, and the play rough is enough to, uh, to KO no bulk um, hex race. Um, yeah. King Gambit, very standard King Gambit here. It's just, um, it, it does not do a lot. Um, it can. Uh, so the sucker punch is enough is enough attack investment with life orb that it might be able to one shot um it's a roll to one shot at the channel flame. Um, that's it. That's uh, even with two fifty two wouldn't wouldn't get the roll the same. It's uh not a very exciting swing. Um so this was one of the last ones we worked on, so we decided. Um so then we got Oricorio, which is really just my Vivion counter. Uh, I didn't really have a very strong answer to Vivion, so I was like, you know, I'll just throw Recorio on there. It's the perfect answer to it. Um, with the goggles, to make sure. Um, and also, I had Defog just uh, for screens and the uh, toxic debris from the um, what's uh, from Glamora, which I didn't think would be that big of a deal, but it would be a nice stick bonus. This is mostly just there for screens, uh, which I wasn't really expecting, but just in case it came up, I wanted to have it in the back. Then we got Cryogonal. Um, it's I I don't even remember what this did. I know it was speeds, and I believe in a one shot you know, Scarada with freeze dry, but uh, oh, and and ancient power for Talon Flame, but it's also it doesn't because if they set up Tailwind, then I no longer out speed. So Cryogonal, this wasn't a very good set in hindsight, um, but it's funny. So you know what can you say? And last but not least, we got Garchomp. Um, it's a uh, it's fast enough to outspeed the half uh, and get the one shot on there. I guess um, we were considering running Havenberry just in case we don't get the one, like in case it's a pretty bulky Axtras. Um, that way we would be able to like, survive the next one to follow up. But uh, we decided this was more consistent to go Lumberry. Um, we were scared of Will-O-Wisp for, for Rotom because we know we're not you know, running that. And also Sleep Powder from Vivian. beyond. It did double, double duty there. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the battles. So, uh, he leads with the Talonflame and Rotom. And this is actually the exact scenario I was hoping for. So I have Pikaton, and I'm thinking, okay, he's going to protect here because I'm going to be accepting a fake out. People don't remember uh, Sink. He's going to like, try and kill the uh, Barracuda, and then next turn, goes to the Tailwind. Um, and you'll see, yep, there's the Protect right here, the Faint. And I don't even know if I ever found out what item it is, because if it was uh, both times it gets fainted and then just goes down so sort of, some sort of stash or covert cloak, but either way, uh, not able to um, not able to sort of get at the tail end there. And he does get a thunderbolt off. It's not that big of a deal. So here I'm thinking, okay, the other card is gonna sucker punch. Um, I don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna try and kill it with Tinkaton first. And go for and go for the uh, the protect and hoping that Rotom, uh, I hoping he either doubles into it or goes to sucker punch or protect or something like something like that. So I check and I try and play rough and the Uh However, the Astrada also protects, which sets me up for a pretty awkward position next turn. So here I guess you'll see I do have to switch out. I now I think sucker punch is coming for sure, um, and I yeah it does come out play rough. It actually does not get the one hit KO, which I was surprised at. And I get burned, unfortunately. But here I know, okay, well, if Miascara wants to sucker punch or do anything, it's going to have to hit into Garchomp, likely. Uh, it's going to take the rough skin uh, damage. So Miascara, I'm just not worried about being. Um, it does Terra. Oh, wait, I thought, actually, I forgot about that. Yeah, I should just take it. Um, you have to priority, make sure it can't do anything. So it would still do a bit of damage. I have for a flinch here. Um, yeah, didn't. Uh, didn't matter. Um, I did not get it. But Garchomp is it has it's lucky enough naturally. Um, but it doesn't it does not matter. I can take three of these and I'll be fine. It brings me to what she had in the back. I was surprised. Even if we saw the my fourth strongest answer against Lamora, that was even there. But uh, you know, there it was. And Gigaton just gives a Gigaton hammer, does nothing. And yep, speaking KO on the guard shop. And here I just kind of let it go down. I'm not scared. Um, Cause I know also that I'm faster than Sinkaton. And um, 
he doesn't really have a, a solid answer. I just go to King Gambit, and then I just can just he has to hit, click an attack and move eventually. So I can kill it with sucker punch, and like right there. I mean, yeah, that was uh was that game really solid? Like so that turn one, I uh, pretty much I pretty much won right on the spot. Being able to prevent the tailwind from going up was just uh, incredible value because most of the stuff was really slow and bulky. Um, and that meant that my stuff that was just, like relatively speed invested was able to outspeed. All right. Um, and here we go into game two. He gets the same lead. I feel like um, I can be the same lead as well. I feel like there's not a lot of ways to beat this. So I'm just thinking, great. Uh, what happens if I can do the same play again? And the answer is, yeah, I, can, I can just do it again. Um, so, so literally the exact same as game one. And so here, uh, I do I go for the Terra here. We do not see a game one. Um, in paragraphs, I'm hoping that if it's a pretty fast, uh, or I'm hoping it's not that bulky, you can get the one hit KO. Um, and it turns out I cannot, it's actually very bulky. But then the Glamora actually is all is Terra Water, which is uh, pretty bad for me, honestly. Um, I did double into the Rotom because I was expecting Glamora. Uh, it did not. But here's where that Earth Power, or the Assault Vest came in clutch. I was mentioning the Earth Power before. Uh, without that AV, I would not have lived right there. So, he switches in the Haxorus. Uh, I was a little surprised at that after I had just hit my rocks into it. Um, but, you know, it's not that big. And again, I'm, I predict the AV once again, or predict the tech again. I'm, this is where I'm pretty sure it was uh, it was Assault Vest because it, I feel like it perfected pretty easy there. Um, and especially here as well. So, I go for the Sucker Punch into into the Glamora. Um, not much you can do because I'm fairly, again fairly certain it was like, either it was somehow locked into Earth Power or an attacking move. Um, but it does get the uh, KO on the Gambit here. It's not that big of a deal because um, here I can, it put its uh, special defense or defense down. It gets another KO, and I'm now once again up three or two Pokemon to one. And Dark Tom is poisoned, but it doesn't matter. It's actually the Lumberry. Uh, and I just kind of, I wanted Tink's kind of get in the game here, so I just went for the check. Overall, um, I mean, Saint was the MVP here. He was just the best move by a mile. Um, and I guess we'll see it play out. Play rough, gets the knockout. And that's it. A swift 2-0. Um, I believe both of them were five. Oh, this one was seven turns, but pretty much went the same way. Um, both of them. Uh, Saint to make sure the, uh, it can hit priority, get, like, tailwind, tailwind off. Uh, and just being able to KO with the with the Barracuda. The Barracuda being so fast is so helpful. It's it's so nice. It, it's great. This is a uh, so yeah. Pretty quick 2-0. Um never brought the Morgrim, which I'm not I'm a little surprised at, but probably just didn't work that well into my team. But yeah, that's how that match went. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um and I will hopefully see you guys again soon.